What's going on YouTube, AnimeFan5672, back again with another video for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. So a couple things I want to point out ahead of time. First of all, I've reshot this video like four times because I just didn't like the way it turned out or I messed it up. So I'm reshooting this yet again. So the box is damaged. I will admit to that. The box is damaged. And this normally does not look like this. This got water damage and I didn't know it at the time where I had this stored. So when I found this, this had been damaged. So this normally does not look like this. So I want to point that out. Also, this belt is a toy. It's plastic, as you can hear. It comes with this pack of Velcro with uh, sticky adhesive tape on the back. So what you do is you cut this and you stick it on the back of the belt to help you hook it to your waist. That's how you hook the belt so you can wear it around your waist is with this Velcro pack. So I just want to point that out there ahead of time because I'm going to throw this off to the side for now. Alright, so today we are looking at the WWE Spinning Heavyweight Championship belt. This has an adjustable waist. It was as seen on Raw. So normally the box will be in better shape, but like I said, I've had this for years. And I wasn't going to unbox it, but then I noticed it did get damaged, and I needed something to make a video about, and I thought, well, why not? And it is interesting. So this is what the front of the box looks like, but, you know, usually not damaged. We have the Jack Specific right up here. If I can reflect, there we go. So we got Jack Specific, we got adjustable waist, as seen on WWE Raw. So you can see there are three panels, so there's one. There's two, and there's three. So then we have the WWE Spinning Heavyweight Championship belt right down there. We have a warning, so this has choking hazards, small parts, not for children under three years old. And then we have it in a second language over here. So it's in two different languages, so that way people know that, like, hey, be careful. So this is what the front of the box looks like. Then we have the top. Basically, this says what it is. There's what the top looks like. Sorry about this. I got to go a little bit quick. And I'm sorry about the glare. There's the bottom. Same thing. On the one side. And I'm going to spin this around here. The other side. So now. On the back here, we have a bunch of different stuff. So we're going to go over that real quick. So we have some championship belts, we have some action figures, and then we have some directions and information down here, which I'll go over. Also, right up here, uh, this is my camera will focus. Really? You're not going to focus for me? Whoa. Sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Safety tested for ages 8 and up. So I just want to point that out there, that this belt was safety tested for ages 8 and up. So we have some stuff up here in the other corner. We have the Real Scan logo. We have the Jack Specific logo. We have the WWE Holographic logo. And then we have Don't Be a Punk, Get Them All, written right there. So now we have our championship belts. There are... 11 belts, it looks like. Now, if my camera will focus, that would really be helpful. There we go. So we're going to go over them real quick. We have the Undisputed WWE Championship. Let's see if I can get that to come in a little bit better. Just not going to focus for me, huh? All right, well, let me see. All right, so we have the Undisputed WWE Championship belt. We have the WWE Championship belt. We have the classic lightweight championship belt. The camera will focus. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. We have the women's championship belt. We have the cruiserweight championship belt. We have the one that we're looking at today, the WWE spinning heavyweight championship belt. We have the WWE tag team championship belt. We have the World Tag Team Championship. We have the Hardcore Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship. 
and the Classic World Tag Team Championship belts. So there are 11 of those that you can collect from your local store or WWE.com from their store online. So down here, we have the WWE Deluxe Aggression. This is series number 8. My camera will focus. There we go. Yep. Series 8, as you can see right there. Series 8. So they have CM Punk, Bobby Lashley, Johnny Nitro, Sandman, Gregory Helms and The Undertaker. So there's some action figures you can pick up at your local stores or online. And then over here, we have the WWE Adrenaline Series 24. As you see there, Series 24. So there's Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Paul London, Brian Kendrick, Undertaker, and Kane. So there's some more extra figures. Again, you can pick them up at your local store or the online. So then down here, you can visit www.jackswwe.com. Of course, get your parents' permission before doing that. And www.wwe.com. Again, get your parents' permission before doing that. We have a logo here or a deal about the WWE 24-7 on demand. My camera will focus. That would really be helpful. There we go. And then they have a logo here for the World Wrestling Entertainment official licensed product. So that's right there. This is basically, they have a parent. A parent. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to get it without the shadow. Uh, let's see. Parent guided suggested 12 and up, as you see right here. So there's that. And then right here, it shows you about hooking the belt to your waist. So step one is, let me see if I do this a little bit better here. Now my camera went out of focus again. Mark location where the cut is intended before final cut is made. Fit snugly around waist and cutaway access. Then step two is stick adhesive square on inner flap, as you see they done right there. And then stick adhesive square on inside of outer flap on that one. And then that will, you know, has the Velcro, so it will hook it to your waist. So then they also have it written down here. So you can pause that and read that if you need to. It basically tells you the same thing what to do. Tells you how much to uh, let overlap and everything else. So there's how to hook the belt to your waist and how to hook the, um, the Velcro to the belt. So you can pause that and read that if you want to. Right here, of course my camera doesn't want to focus. This belt was made in China. So you see right there, made in China. So then, when I open this, and pull the belt out. Now normally, the belt would be wrapped around the cardboard to make it harder to get out. But like I said, I've made this video like four times now and I just put the belt back in the box so I could redo it. So. This is what your belt will look like. It is shiny. So sorry about that if you get a glare on the camera. I'm trying not to. So here's a closer look at the logos and the stuff on. So there's panel one. They're one of the panels. And they're all plastic. So you can hear it. It's all plastic. So there's one panel. Here's to get it without the glare. There's the middle panel. Right there. And like I said, this does spin, as you can see. And then here's the other panel. They got damaged. So this one, the one says, this is this one, Monday Night Raw, as you see right there. Got the chain with the padlock on it. So there's that one. And then the middle, this says WWE Champ. You see right there, Champ. And then... WWE Champion. Now, if you have some stickers or um, a way of making this yourself, you could actually put like a face or a face plate, a name plate right down here. But this is all plastic, so I would just take like some glue or something, and you could put like your own homemade name plate down there. But again, it's all plastic, and this is just like. Like foam. I don't know how well you can hear it. No, that's that, but. 
that's just foam. It's a foam belt. I, uh, so this is what the back side of the belt looks like. And then there's, it bends really easily. And then on the inside of the belt here, let me fold this over. There we go, so I can open this. You just have some copyright stuff. So you have Made in China, 2005 Road Wrestling Entertainment, 2005 Jack Specific copyright right there. So there's that. And that's right behind the middle plate of the belt. So you can see this is just, it's, the, it's not very hard at all. Like it's just kind of like a, almost like a hard foam. But you could probably use it with like an, cut it with like an exacto knife to do that. So now I'd like to hear from you guys down in the comment section down below. What was your favorite belt? Is it this one that we're looking at right now? Or let me bring up the box here again. Oh, let me fix this. Sorry about that. Which was your favorite belt? So I'll do this real quick. You guys can get another look at them real quick. So was it the spinning heavyweight championship? Was it the classic lightweight championship? Was it the women's championship or the hardcore championship or the classic world tag team championship? Let me know what was your favorite belt out of this line, out of the belts listed here. Let me know, what was your favorite belt? Down in the comment section down below. I love you guys, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope everything's going well. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, favorite this video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. You can find links to my Twitter and my Instagram. They'll be in the description down below and I hope to see you guys here again next time. Also make sure you hit that bell and turn on notifications that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I don't think I forgot to say anything. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys here again next time. Until next time, guys. Later.